Okay, on one of the armatures we are going to be extracting the bearing and then the the fan. For that we have set up a pulley so we can uh, take it up. Now this space right here will be used with the second commutator on this side. So this is the main part that we have to figure out which is the main structure of the armature. Then we go into the, the casing, the housing, where everything is going to fit. All right, we already uh, extracted the bearing, but um, we put some kind of stress here because of the, the, the pulley ends. So what we did here is I built uh, a piece that slides, got a groove and slides into the shaft. That way I can grab it from the piece itself and it will do the force right on the center of it. So here is the housing. Um, I use the same exact uh, plate and these are the the bolts that I uh, drill the holes to to hold the, the 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 board and the bearings together. And normally the motor comes with uh, three bolts, which I'm just gonna leave it. But eventually I'm gonna add another bolt here, uh, right in between the two cables and so on on this on the on the factory. Um, so it's more sturdy now one thing I wanted to show you I, I'm gonna see if the camera can capture high def on the grooves here because uh, it's very important that you guys sand real well inside the grooves because there's a lot of uh, resin left there and I have to sand it down and I'm still going in the process of doing that so I can have more room and there um, there won't be the the resin uh, you know sticking out because of the wires holding the wires and it will take room from me and I don't want that so like right here seeing that uh, all these residues they'll have to be sanded down um, and the idea is to leave them like this now this side I already sanded down and still gotta work that out smooth them out real good without I mean I use a uh, 80 grit and a little bit of a, a wood bar to get in between the slots and be able to smooth them down um, not too much though as you can see I use another epoxy just to touch up any uh, uh, damages that I put on the on the insulation when I took the wires off and I recoat it with a high temperature epoxy and you know the edges but basically and make sure that we you run something smooth here so when we get the the hedges in uh, these are the hedges that are gonna be holding the wire and they are supposed to fit in between here so you gotta make sure that you know you got it right these are the hedges they gotta fit in between there just to hold the wire in place and you gotta slide them in there after the motor is wounded and then just touch it up there with some resin in between the grooves so it doesn't slide up and I normally I grab a very fine needle nose pliers and I start pulling it slowly without taking the insulation from the motor but basically uh, this is it. I had to take the the bearing off and 
so to mount the commutator. Now if we look in here, the shaft comes with some splines already from factory. Uh, I don't know if, uh, let me see if I can get a real good zoom in here. And this goes all the way to the bottom. So they are, they are aligned. And this is great to use it uh, for the alignment on the commutator. Um, now the splines when it goes here because it normally comes with the, with the fan there and this is the fan and it's got it's aluminum fan so it'll go easier in there but uh, I had to smooth out the splines so I can get the shaft the commutator inside the shaft smoothly I had to at least half of the the, the, the splines I have to file them and get them pretty smooth so I can slide and, and then press the commutator down. Now this commutator has uh, inside of this, the mica, it's got a, a metal steel ring and that's actually what mounts on the shaft. So these motors are very good. They are excellent. This is not just mica and, and steel. They got a, a, a built-in uh, steel rim in there. and. So we got it going. I got. I still gotta smooth down and then start winding it with the P28. Uh, um, here is um, the armature. The rotor already fit in, in inside the the casing. And the good thing and what I like about these motors is that it was able to fit in there um, perfect without replacing shaft or elongating the the body the frame I just have to drill uh, three holes to hold the the brush uh, board and uh, thread the, the holes and I used uh, 1224 bolts and nuts and I can adjust them and put some lock nuts here and adjusting to the height. Um, I use some spacers to even out the, the space between the, the brush and the commutator. I use pieces of wood the same size and it's free rotating the brushes are not in um, and it's pretty clean but I still gotta go some more because of the resin inside. I've been sanding it inside the slots and I just put it together here so we could see that you know the frame is right behind it and it'll fit I'm using the same exact bolts which is only has two and one once it locks in the frame in the grooves um, it will lock and it'll be perfect in position so and, uh, here is my wire I'm gonna be using a uh, 16 gauge um, wire and these are 10 pounds I don't know if that will